Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many web developers encounter. Our viewer is curious about how to maintain select values from a dynamic drop-down list after a page refresh. Let's break down the issue. Our viewer has a form with 11 elements, including both input and select tags. While the input fields retain their values after a refresh, the select elements do not. This can be frustrating, especially when users have already filled out most of the form correctly. The viewer is using PHP to dynamically populate the drop-down list and is seeking a way to keep the selected values intact, even when an error message is displayed. This is a common scenario in form handling, and today we'll explore how to achieve this. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To maintain selected values in a dynamic drop-down list after a page refresh, we need to modify our PHP code. Let's start by understanding how to retain the selected value in the drop-down. In your PHP code, when generating the drop-down options, you should compare each option's value with the previously submitted value. If they match, you will set the selected attribute for that option. Now, let's ensure that the form retains the values of the input fields as well. You can achieve this by setting the value attribute of the input elements to the previously submitted values. Finally, make sure to handle the form submission correctly. When the form is submitted, check for errors and repopulate the form fields with the submitted values if there are any validation errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To maintain selected values from a dynamic drop-down list after a page refresh, you can use PHP to check the selected option. First, connect to your database and retrieve the location descriptions. Then, loop through the results and set the selected attribute for the matching description. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Yes, you can maintain selected values in a dynamic drop-down list after a refresh using the selected attribute in HTML. For example, you can set an option as selected like this, option value equals value two selected. If you're concerned about XHTML validation, use selected equals selected. To implement this in PHP, first store the selected value from the form submission. Then, in your loop, check if the current option matches the selected value and add the selected attribute accordingly. You can see a demonstration of this technique in action at the provided PHP Fiddle link. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer.
To maintain selected values from a dynamic drop-down list after a refresh, you can use the selected attribute in your HTML. This ensures that the chosen option remains visible. You can enhance your code by data binding the select element to a data source using a generator function. This allows for modular and reusable code. Here's a simple function that generates a select element. It checks if the current option matches the submitted value and marks it as selected. You can easily integrate this function into your forms. Just pass the selected value and the data source to create a dynamic dropdown. The data source function queries the database and yields each option value, making it easy to populate your dropdowns. By organizing your code into functions, you can easily manage changing values and extend your code to meet specific needs. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To maintain selected values from a dynamic dropdown after a refresh, you can use PHP to check the selected option. First, connect to your database and fetch the location descriptions. Then, loop through the results and set the selected attribute for the matching description. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.